And can you mark it there? Yeah, uh, that, huh? Ted, can I ask your overqualified ass to take a picture of us three ladies? Charlie's Angels have chopped. Uh, okay. Everybody smile, here we go. That's gonna be a really good one. If you want something done right, do it yourself. We give the judges a chance to live by that philosophy after hours. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the gorgeous ladies of CHOP. That's right. Ta-da. Amanda, Manit, Alex, what you have in front of you are ingredients from the appetizer round from a competition when we had four teams of mothers-in-law and daughters-in-law battling it out, and they had to make appetizers from fully baked lasagna, onion blossom chips, arugula, and a wine purse, which is a portable container filled with white Bordeaux. This was one of the more catastrophic appetizer baskets that we've, we've seen. I mean, you have an entire baked lasagna here, and the arugula, which is so often the crutch, that competitors go for is actually in the basket, you know, and that's kind of throwing me for a loop. Okay, so the sad part of the story is that you only get 20 minutes. Come on, Ted, give us a couple extra minutes. Please, please, Ted, please. This is gonna look so great over please, there. Please, please, Ted, please. <laughs> that I'll take. If anybody can do it, you can. 20 itty bitty bitty little minutes. Clock starts now. Okay. Push them through. Push them through. Okay. Oh, I've got a powerful thirst myself. Mm. Mm. Delicious. It's too early to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what are you up to? I'm gonna make a tomato and blue cheese salad, Ted, with uh, arugula sorbet. And mustard seeds? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is arugula sorbet? I don't know yet. Are you gonna, can you leach the flavor out of arugula into a liquid? I don't know yet. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Alex, you and this are two hot tomatoes. Thank you, babe. Right on. Let's see how it goes. Right on. Manit is bringing the flavor with tomatillo. So what are you gonna make, Manit? I am making an arugula tomatillo gazpacho with lasagna fritters. Arugula tomatillo gazpacho? With lasagna fritters? Yep. Uh, hey, I would eat that. It is just so funny to watch you guys dispensing wine out of this thing. And then we can just drink it. Oh, there you go. Del huh? Delicious. Amanda Freitag, she's got a little mozzarella. Mozzarella. A little fresh mozzarella, a little gruyere. I have a few mix of cheeses, Ted. I like I'm not that. sure which one is going to work best for my idea. What's your idea, Amanda? My plan is to make a queso fundido with lasagna chips. That's what I'd like to do. All right, let's see what happens. All right, folks, you're looking at about 10 minutes. No, hold I'm sorry. No, oh. oh, no, Ted, what did you do? It's a geyser. It's an herb geyser. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I genuinely don't, but hey. All right, Manit, listen, yes. I gotta tell you, Alex Rochelle is pushing the barriers of creativity here. She's making an arugula sorbet. Of course, of course she is. I mean. I know. <laughs> Are you okay? It's just choking on my own recipe. Lasagna fritters. Okay, here goes nothing. Um, this is a mess. I'm changing plan. I'm cutting up some of the lasagna and adding that with my queso fundido. Things are gonna be okay now. All right, folks, you've got five minutes to get this done. With my lasagna, I was gonna make lasagna chips. I tried to bake them, didn't work. I need some kind of chip to go with my queso fondido, so I have to use tortillas. What 
one minute left on the clock, folks. Behind you. All right, chefs. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Please step back. Cheers. Okay, this looks beautiful. Of course. Okay, we have fully baked lasagna, onion blossom chips, arugula, and a wine purse. Pretty tough stuff. So, Alex, what is that? It's beautiful. So I made a blue cheese and tomato salad with an onion blossom, white wine, mustard seed dressing, and uh, arugula tarragon sorbet. Dude. That sounds amazing. It looks beautiful. Whoa. I kind of like when people say to us a little bit about how they want their food to be eaten. So I would really like you to at least taste a piece of the tomato with the vinaigrette and the blue cheese and a little bit of the sorbet. The sorbet is really about the temperature to make the tomatoes more refreshing. Mm. Bon appetit. Wow, 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 wow. That is amazing. There's a lot going on there, but it's at the same time really clean. You took fresh tomato and involved it in this lasagna, which was so heavy, so cooked. How did you get the sorbet so smooth? I put a lot of tarragon and hot water. And I put some sugar. I, I taste the sugar in, in the sorbet, and I really think it, it just likes the way salt amplifies everything else. It just really brings out those herbs, the tarragon and the arugula. I love arugula used as an herb and not just as a salad. I think it's beyond creative and super delicious. All right, Monique, what do we have? I made an arugula tomatillo gazpacho with lasagna fritters. Of course you did. Of course I did. Run of the mill average Tuesday morning, right? I know. Amazing. I think the arugula um, and the tomatillo together, really great combination. What inspired you to go gazpacho? The basket was so heavy, it needed something to liven the plate. I love the brightness of it. It's almost like sorrel. I also think visually you kind of made everything disappear, but it's all there. Transformation is definitely an A-plus here, for sure. OK, Amanda, what is that? So basically, it's a lasagna, arugula, queso fundido. I didn't have guac and cheese, so I mixed mozzarella and gruyere. I do have chorizo in there. I wanted to make lasagna chips. It didn't work. It doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> so what I did was take the onion blossom chips and make them a seasoning for these fried tortillas. OK, look okay. at that. Look wow. at the gooey ooey. Oh, my awesome. god. Mm. <laughs> oh, my god. This is insane. So look good. how hot that is, too. You guys went on a lighter note. I took it down a whole nother road. <laughs> I just amplified the cheese. I added meat. There's no freshness here. <laughs> <laughs> Every bit as incredible and creative as I knew you would be. Thanks, Ben. Thank, Thank you, you awesome. my friends. Thank so you, Teddy. Fun. Lovely. So much fun. You can keep the lasagna next time. If you get hungry for more After Hours Judges Rounds, just go to foodnetwork.com slash chopped.